hello ladies and gentle stoners, and welcome to part 11 of my Division Let's Play thinger. Uh, I'm your host, Casey. Today we will be doing the Hudson Refugee Camp mission. Uh, it's another medical mission, which means it's green. Agent, we, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. And you may recall if you watched the Lincoln Checkpoint video that we talked a bit about marksman rifles. Ooh, spooky. Anyway, uh... Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Thanks for interrupting me, Jessica. Uh, I do have equipped today the second type of sniper that has a high damage and a teeny tiny clip. Uh, if you're using this sniper, you're going to want to go for headshots and only headshots. Anything else is a waste of time with this gun. We are fighting cleaners again in this mission, so just remember to keep your distance from those goddamn flamethrowers, and you should be hot to go. Should also note that this area is filled with things that explode, like gas cans and oil drums in the works. Uh, rule of thumb, if it's red, it'll probably explode. And there's also these proximity mines of sorts that you'll need to watch out for. Uh, they make a bleeping sound when you get near them, but I will point those out as they come along. For now, we just have to kill all these losers. You may have noticed that every hostile in this game has their face covered. That is so that we don't have to feel bad about killing them and taking them from their families. Yay, guiltless carnage. prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solutions. So if you see on my right up here, that flashing red thing is one of the proximity mines I was talking about. Uh, here's another one. If you're speedy, you can usually run past them no problem, and it's not like there are any bad guys to worry about here, so as long as you have healing, you'll be super K. Bonsai! I call bullshit. Whatever. So this first path is danger. Take the next one. There's much less fire here. And then we're going to want to make a run for it. And we're pretty much through all of the mines now. There are a couple of guys ahead, but they don't have reinfor reinforcements, so no big dealio. And I did mention in another video that cleaners are massive douchebags who insist on burning everything that's been in contact with the virus, so yeah, they're here to kill everyone. Or, like this guy, they're here to burn the ground. Pop, pop! Anyway, you're gonna want to run past this pole, as I notice a little too late. But we still make it anyway. And there's just two more guys, and a bit more running. 
And fuck you in particular. Excuse me, coming through. Just passing by. Chemical signature of explosives detected. And we do have uh, a couple more mechanics here in this next part. Uh, that's what I've decided to call these guys that make turrets. They don't have a lot of health, so if you can catch them off guard, you can take them down really fast. Exhibit A. I do like to come up here for this fight, because the high ground is usually considered favorable, right? Either way, it's easier to see around cover, so we can still hit these guys when they try and hide behind shit. I think there's just two waves of enemies here, so nothing too taxing. I've never actually been on a train ride anywhere. But yeah, if you do kill a mechanic who has an active turret thing, it will explode by itself after, so you don't have to waste your ammo trying to destroy it. Lots of stairs here. Uh, bear with me as we traverse this stage of the game. Should I play elevator music? If I had elevator music, I would play it right now, but I don't. So you get to listen to me ramble. And you can go further down the stairs over here, but like I said before, the high ground makes life easier. Double pop pop. No one escapes me. There's probably a guy with an axe running across this bridge right now. Dinkus. Oh, that's too far. Guess it's time to use this. Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? No, uh, these guys do like to run around the back of this truck on the right here, so watch out that they don't flank you. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Anyway, once we kill these guys, we will be at the boss area. We just have to make it down this corridor. I don't know what to call it. It's alley. Too big to be an alley. But anyway. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor, but maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, we'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Don't think there is yes, any more bad worry, guys. Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. Oh yeah. Copy that, Doc. Yeah, so. Oh, you don't want to miss this uh, restock chest right beside the entrance over here. It's kind of sneaky. Just come around to the right. And we do want to go up and down as quickly as possible so we don't get spotted before we're down and in position. You know the situation. It's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. 
too late for the rest of the country. So go to work. And you can go up those stairs on the right, but you do have to be careful because they can sneak up on you from underneath the balcony and come up the stairs behind you. And you won't really have anywhere to run. You could jump off the balcony, but that will probably hurt a bit. Plus it will leave you out in the open for everyone to fuck your shit. And this boss is a mechanic as well as the rest of the guys in the level. Which means you're going to want to keep him out of your line of sight until you take care of all these other guys. I believe he has a shotgun, so distance is usually the key here. You can try to get close, but uh, the way this boss is set up, he's definitely much stronger at close range. With those flamethrower guys for backup, he usually tries to use his turret to suppress you, and then he'll sneak up and try and blow your face off with his shotgun. Christ almighty, I made that look easy. Anyway, that is the end of the mission. We just have to run up some stairs and boop a laptop. Tomorrow's video is actually going to be another story mission, so that'll be a fun change of pace. Uh, I don't hate doing the side missions, but they do take a while, and I'm worried that I'm going to have to start splitting them into two videos, which means a lot more work for me. Uh, you don't have to do all the side missions when you're actually playing the game, but there is a perk for you get from the security wing that will reveal all of the collectibles on the map in an area when you finish all the side missions and encounters for that area. So that'll save me time if I do a collectibles video series later. And uh, we do get another intel video from this mission, so I'll throw that in after the explosion. Everybody have a happy Tuesday. That should do it, agents. Solid work. Yeah. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant, which means it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine.